Having said that, India needs to strike a careful balance. Yes, scrutiny is necessary at the same time. You cannot hold back investments because the global economy is on a knife edge. The months ahead could be tough. Experts are predicting what they call a procession of recessions. Major economies are staring at a recession. The United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Canada and the Eurozone. All of them. The Eurozone, by the way, is a group of 19 countries which accept the euro as the primary currency. Now, all these economies could dip into recession within the next year. And we are no longer talking about probabilities. We are talking about how bad this recession could be. Will it be worse than 2008? Tonight on Gravitas, we'll discuss. First of all, let's tell you there are three main causes of a recession. Number one is an overheated economy. Number two, asset bubbles. And number three, black swan events. These three factors can cause a recession and all three of them are at play right now. Let me explain. First is an overheated economy. When does an economy overheat? When there's an imbalance between demand and supply. And that's exactly what is happening right now. The demand is high and the supply is struggling to catch up. Consider these recent headlines. The war in Ukraine triggered a global food shortage. Global oil demand set to rise to a new high in 2023. Global supply chain crisis fuels pushed to local manufacturing. Labor unrest disrupts supply chains from sky to sea. All of these headlines are saying the exact same thing. The demand for goods is high, the supply is short, and the result is rising prices. In other words, inflation. We've told you this before. How bad is the situation? I have some more data for you. 44 countries have advanced economies in the world. In 37 countries, inflation rates have doubled. High inflation is a sign of an overheating economy, so central banks are now trying to tame inflation. How? By rising interest rates. It might take a while for those measures to work, if they work, that is. The second factor that leads to recession is asset bubbles. How do they work? Say something was overpriced earlier, for whatever reasons, it was a bubble. And suddenly, the prices fall, the bubble bursts. This price correction can cause a recession. And it's happening as we speak. During the pandemic, stock prices of several companies soared. Markets were on a high. This created a bubble, and that bubble has burst. Look at the recent mass sell-off in markets. Do you know how much investors have lost? $11 trillion till the month of May this year. $11 trillion. This is the worst losing streak for global stocks since 2008. That was the last global financial crisis, 2008. So how did global markets fare today? Thankfully, today was better. Most exchanges closed in green. India's Nifty and Sensex made gains. Against. They were up by more than a percent. But there's no guarantee it will remain the same. Because more bubbles could burst. One of them is the debt bubble. Global debt has reached a staggering $305 trillion. This includes all kinds of debt in the world. Household, private companies, governments. All of them owe a whopping $305 trillion. Let's put that number into perspective. Global debt was just $83 trillion in the year 2000. 2022, it's $305 trillion. That's almost four times more. This debt is now 355% of the global GDP, and this is unsustainable. Some of the debt is bound to fail, and when that happens, it could lead to a slowdown. The third factor we mentioned is black swan events. What are these? Basically rare, unpredictable events that impact the whole world, like the Wuhan virus pandemic and Russia's war on Ukraine. Events like these accelerate the collapse of economies. The pandemic derailed the global economy. The war in Ukraine has dealt it a body blow. It is linked to supply shortages and inflation. The war is being fought in Ukraine, but its impact is being felt by the whole world. And it will get worse before it gets better. And here's why I say that. Businesses and global supply chains are being crippled. There are labor strikes in many countries. It began with the United Kingdom. From railway to postal workers and teachers, they all announced strikes. In Germany, 8,000 dock workers went on a strike last week. In France, workers have threatened to shut down a refinery. There were protests in South Korea too. Last month, truckers went on an eight-day strike. And all of them have the same demand. Better wages, that's what they want. You see, recessions don't just impact a country's economy, they also cause social unrest. And for any government, 
An angry population is the worst case scenario. The way things are going, they should brace for impact. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.